Yo guys, what's going on? It's me, Man Potato here, and we're going to be doing one of the brand new zombie maps from uh, Black Ops 3. So, it's called Shadows of Evil, and there's four different characters, and you're going to see a video here of what they actually do, and uh, I'll let you guys do it. Are, are fully paid up? No, <laughs> no, 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 I, I can assure you, I'd, I'd never, ever think of taking such a course of action. No, I just want to uh, make sure that our fares are, um, in order. I have been watching. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. But... Questions remain. Why do you do the things you do? Do you not see the futility of your tiny, insignificant existence? You are but fragments of a bigger universe. Your sins serve only as an invitation. An invitation to an evil. Beyond your imagination. I'll lead the way. I will show you the path. Only through me, the Shadow Man, will you find your redemption. All right, guys. So that was the trailer, like slash intro. And uh, here's a starting area. This can't be happening. Now, this map is kind of related to the Black Ops 2 version of Mob of the Dead, when you had the Afterlife perk, and there is that masked man, well, the dude up there. You shoot him multiple times, he would change your round. He's gone now, so I have not shot at him. But he will change the round to up to 15 and will give you points by shooting at him. It'll, all, it'll pretty much kill you because none of the guns here are really good. And you start off with a bowie knife. <clears throat> which is different than regular Call of Duty's when you had to buy the bowie knife. Which usually would cost $3,000. And here is the new Afterlife Become a Beast ability. You can charge all the shit. There is something for the ritual. I still have no idea what the ritual is. As you can return to this octopus Cthulhu looking thing, you can uh, yeah. pretty much navigate the map with it. You will need it like throughout the day. 
Now, perks are extremely hard to find because, well, they are just kind of in different areas each time. They, they spawn randomly as they would in Nuketown 2025 with the zombie map. So, right now, I'm going to actually buy Quick Revive because it's actually useful in solo. If I can get the fucking points. Nope. Give me these points. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was 500. I'm going to grab that double points. This map kind of reminds me of Die Rise and the fact that it's pretty much a room leading to a bigger room leading to an even bigger room. That, that's how I picture this map. It's kind of like a gearhead. Each one of these sectors has their own thing and they go back even farther. Alright, so I'm going to leave this area. And here's the, like, the center of the map to my extent. Here's the new gobble gun feature, which you can actually customize. Got the no stock option, which I never have to revive. I mean, I never have to reload. It just takes it from my. Oh shit! Wow, that was fucking fast. I did not. Yep, I did die. That was a little closer than I would like. All right, well that was that was a mistake. But here, as you can see, there are broken perk bottles. Those are will show you where the perks will be at that round. Uh oh shit. Run 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 run. Let me grab that. <clears throat> Perhaps just another piece of an unsolvable puzzle. Alright, so round four. There's also a new boss on this map, which sucks. This map is extremely hard to play on, as there isn't really a guaranteed way to go. You just gotta fucking wing it each time. Alright. Over there. Oh shit, I was in stick hill. Don't even look at me! Me. All right, so oh shit. So over here would be Juggernog, which we will be going to right now. So up there is the mystery box. Oh shit, let's kill these guys. And up here is the new area. I'm sorry I'm, like, relating every single one of these areas and, like, parts of the map to, like, each of the Call of Duty maps. Oh, fucking shit! Because it just is. It legitimately relates to each and every- Oh, shit. It legitimately relates to each and every map because it has a part of each map to it. Like, it has a train feature that will take you to each part of the map, which you can have a- It can be good or fucking really bad at the same time. Because the train will get you there, but then you have to buy all the doors and shit once you take it. So, that can be good or bad. Oh, damn. We are going to get fucked up here. Max ammo, give me that shit. So, this is where I kind of do my little run around routine. It's not that bad. It's not good. It can possibly get you killed, as you saw right there. What? Oh shit, are we going the right way? Nope, we are not going the fucking right way. Let me take this just in case. Oh, alright, now this is the new, like, monkey round. It is a wolf. It's a pretty much a bunch of, like, wasps that spawn in the sky. Oh. Touch 
Now, these are pretty easy as long as you don't stay in the same spot. They can't really hit you. They drop a max ammo as usual. Alright, I'm gonna get another gumball just because I haven't gotten another one because mine ran out. We got another one. So, longer bleed out time. That is just fucking terrible for me. <clears throat> gonna run up here. Now, to get to the box, there's the train station. You have to run up like you're going to the train and run over here. But, we don't have any cash, I just noticed. Gonna shoot him here so I have enough money to buy the box. We're gonna change weapons. Oh shit. That ain't good. Hopefully I can make it there in time. I doubt I will, but hopefully I do. Yo, if I make this... Nope, I did not make it, of course. Oh, and we got fucking trapped. <sighs> well, I survived eight rounds, but, um... Yeah, guys, this was the new Zombies map. Uh, I will be showing you guys a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is a brand new uh, sh Shadows of Evil map for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, comment on this video and share me around. I don't give a fuck. And, uh, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one. This is no cutscene. This is just taking us back to the main menu. So if you guys are going to be like flipping shit. But I will see you guys, as I said, oh, in the next one.